What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I am Matt Luna and we're gonna be making some swim baits today. Um, we're gonna be using the Dual Mold Slick Shiner Mold. You guys have seen that mold used in the past. It's a really, really cool mold. It turn, makes some really, really awesome swim baits. And we're gonna be doing something kind of unique today. We're gonna have some chartreuse tails with a laminate body. It's gonna be like a smoke kind of a color along with a pearl. It's gonna be a three color swim bait. I think they're gonna turn out really, really cool or I'm gonna screw it up really bad, but I think they're gonna turn out pretty darn cool. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like the sound of what we're gonna be making today's video, give the video a like. And if you have any questions while we're watching, make sure to leave them down in the comment section so I can get back to you guys and respond to those questions. Also, a product list is gonna be down in the description of today's video as well as my affiliate link to Do It Molds. If you buy anything from Do It Molds, please use my affiliate link. It's the only way that they know that you came over to their website from my content. So please save that affiliate link. It's in the description of today's video. Save it for any of your future purchases. All you have to do is click that link to go to their website and they're gonna know that I sent you. All right guys, so we're gonna start off making the tails and the chartreuse tails are gonna be coming from this old plastisol that I used in the past. We're gonna remelt this. We just gotta take it slow so that way we don't burn it and then it will become useless. That's one thing about making soft plastics is that you can reuse old baits, old plastisol, leftover sprues, anything like that. You just gotta take it slow so you don't burn it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plastisol out and we're gonna start cutting it up into small pieces. It's gonna make it easier for us to warm up and we'll be able to warm it up a little bit more evenly having less chance to actually burn it and ruin our remelt plastic that we're trying to use. Our plastic is all cut up into small pieces. You could cut it up even smaller if you wanted to. But now we're gonna open up our microwave. We're gonna set this measuring cup full of plastic salt into the microwave and we're gonna start heating it up for one minute. So when we're remelting this plastic, we gotta take it slow, like I said. I'm gonna start off with one minute, stir it, one minute, stir it, and I'm gonna keep doing that slowly, and as it gets warmer and warmer, I'm gonna slow the timing down to where it's 30 seconds at a time. And you wanna stir it so that way everything gets warmed up evenly. Just be careful not to burn it, and we want it to get to that liquid consistency to where we're gonna inject it into our mold. All right, so this is the consistency that we're looking for with our plastisol. This is actually probably a little bit hotter than I would have liked, but it's gonna do, I didn't burn it or anything like that, but it definitely is hot, so it's gonna inject in there pretty pretty easily. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna get out the single injector right now and get these baits ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna inject full baits in this chartreuse color. And then you'll see the next step in the process once these are all uh, solidified and they're not liquid anymore. All right, it's time to take off the clamps off of our mold and check out and see how these spinner baits ended up. They probably turned out pretty good. This, is a, this mold shoots pretty good. We got seven of them. And then as you can see, here are our finished baits. We had one that didn't fill in very good but here are the rest of our chartreuse swim baits. So as you can see off camera, I made a bunch of extra swim baits so that way we had plenty to make multiple attempts to get these right. The next step in the process is cutting off the tails of these swim baits. So what we're gonna do is just cut off small sections of these swim baits so that way we're left with just the tails. You wanna do it fairly evenly across all of them but it doesn't have to be perfect. All we're doing is cutting off these tails and we're gonna reinsert them into the mold. And we're gonna do it on all eight of these that I have on the table. And as you guys saw a minute ago, I do have more. So if this first run ends up not doing very well, we'll have extra ones that we can still go ahead and use uh, later on to give us multiple attempts at this. So I'm gonna finish cutting all these tails off and then we're gonna start getting more plastisol ready to, to go. And then we're gonna start getting more plastisol warmed up for the body colors. So this part of the process is gonna be the hardest part, putting those tails back into the mold after you've cut them off. I had to put worm oil into the little tail slots in order to get them to go into position. And I know that putting that top side is gonna be very, very difficult. Now it's time to start making our laminate colors. One side, one of these cups is going to have a more pearl color and the other side is gonna have a more of a blue pearl color. So we're gonna heat these up a little bit so I can start adding that powder to it. Okay, we got the white pearl, we're gonna go in first. This is a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon and we're gonna do about half. So we're gonna have about an eighth of a teaspoon in that one, 
and then we're going to get our blue pearl side and we're going to do the same thing about an eighth of a teaspoon we'll stir everything up and check it out and see how our colors look and then decide if we need to add more or not and then once we do that we will start injecting these things to see what these swim baits turn out like we're starting off with the white pearl to start getting it all mixed in and unfortunately some of it blew out into the blue but that's okay it's not that big of a deal we're just going for the effect more so than anything in this video just to see if i can actually accomplish what i'm trying to accomplish with these swim baits but i'm definitely going to need to warm everything up a little bit so we're going to switch over and check out the blue side as well i'm probably going to blow some of it out i got a fan on right now blowing all these plastics fumes out out the garage into the open air so that's why you can see some of this stuff blowing out of here um safety first right so that's actually turning out like a pretty cool color right there i have a feeling these are going to have a pretty cool effect if they laminate well and attach to those tails like i want and when you are laying those tails into the mold make sure you worm oil both tail slots into that mold and when you're putting that mold back together make sure you line up the little knobs that basically make everything go together and then you're going to have a lot easier time getting those tails to meet and slide into each side of the tail mold itself so just be careful with that part that's probably the hardest part of this whole process all right so off camera i added a little bit of blue smoke pearl to that pearl side to the blue pearl side already and i'm going to add a little bit of silver flake in here and to both sides and then um, after that we should be good to go i'm just gonna stir it all in there just gonna give it a little bit of flash and i think it'll help these two sides blend in together because those those silvers will kind of the silver flakes will kind of help the blue blend into that bottom pearl color because i'm going to try to shoot it so the blue is on the top and then the white pearl is on the bottom and i think that having these silver flakes is gonna one brighten the color but it's also going to help everything blend up a little bit and uh, I'm going to have to warm this up and get it a little bit thinner so I can uh, inject it into my molds. And um, I think if this turns out, I think these baits are going to turn out really, really cool. All right, so we got our dual injector and it's time to try and pour these laminates up. I'm going to draw up all the plastic. One thing I like to do with laminates is make sure I got even flow on both sides, which I do. Now we're going to come over to the mold, even pressure down. Now it doesn't take very much power to to do these I'm going to take it slow okay doing every other one so that way if I mess up I have a chance at getting them to be correct the second go around still looking okay even pressure down I'm kind of nervous guys I'm not gonna lie because I have no idea how these are gonna turn out I'm hoping they turn out good so far so good and then one more. I can see the laminates on the top where the sprues are, but you just never know until you start making these things and open up that mold. But we'll find out here in a second whether these things turned out or not. All right, so it's attempt number two. I didn't pull any of these swim baits out of the mold yet just because I have those tails in there and it was a pain to get them in the first time. So I don't want to do it all over again. So I am going to stir everything up and then draw all this plastisol up into my injectors and then we'll inject it into our mold. So I got all the way up and then we'll check for flow, good flow on both sides. Come over here, even pressure down. I'm gonna hold that pressure a little bit, especially when you have those tails in there. You definitely want to hold that pressure. Go to the next one, even pressure down. I'm going to hold that pressure. So far, it's looking like I think these will work. It's going to be a subtle laminate, I believe, based on what I see up here. And I have a feeling this is going to be kind of like a, a sexy shad kind of a kind of a deal where it has that chartreuse along with like that baby blue and some of that white pearl with some silver in it and stuff. I think it's going to be I think it's gonna be a really cool bait. It's just kind of a, a lot of work to make, but you know, when you make them yourself, you can kind of do that kind of stuff. So we'll check these out here in a second and see how successful I was. 
<laughs> All right, well, here's here goes nothing. It's time to open up the mold here, take the clamps off, and see how these things turned out. I'm really hoping they turned out good. And so far, so good. Let's get these things out of here and kind of get them in a position where you can see them a little bit better. Like I said, the, the laminate is faint. Hopefully it's coming through, but these things did turn out really, really good. Um, I'm really liking them. You can feel that worm oil in there from when I was, uh, when I had to get those tails in there, but it definitely turned into a cool looking bait. Check that out guys. That thing turned out awesome. Hopefully it's coming through really good on camera because these things turned out really, really good. I'm really impressed. And uh, that laminate did come through. It's just hard to tell probably on camera right here. All right, so I think it's time. We're gonna go for all of them at the same time. All eight cavities in one shot. Don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna suck up as much of this plastisol as I can. All right, make sure we got good flow, we do. Come over here, even pressure down. Gonna have to hold that pressure good. Top it off. And again. Just gotta keep doing this as we go. One at a time. I really like how these last ones turned out. They turned out really, really cool. I'm really, really impressed actually. The only bad part is it did smash some of the tails a little bit. I don't know if it's enough to really in impact how they're gonna swim or anything like that. But nevertheless, this is a cool way to, to make some baits for sure. Um, it's starting to get a little bit stiff, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of them. But we're gonna get as much as we can. Do one more. Well, I might be able to get a couple more of them. We'll just have to try to power through it. All right, let's see how these turned out. Let's get these clamps off and see how these ones turned out. I'm hoping they turned out good like the last, like the last batch did. We'll find out here in a second. Let me get them all set up for you guys. The sprues are kind of making everything all wonky, but we'll check them out here in a second. Set them up just a little bit better. That's good enough. Let's get this mold in my hand. Oh yeah, these things turned out real, real good. I'm really, really happy with them. Um, definitely, definitely a long process, but pretty rewarding to say the least. Well guys, those turned out really, really cool. Check that out. You can see all that pearl coming in and the sunlight like that. These things turned out really, really cool. Let me see if I can tilt them a little bit so you can see that laminate. Not sure if it's coming through or not, but guys, these things turned out really, really cool. Just gotta be careful with the flashing because they do have, have a tendency to get a little bit of flashing. Nothing that you can't fix yourself, but they do have a little bit of flashing going on. Well, there's another look at our swim baits. I really like the way that the pearl and the blue pearl is real subtle and it goes into that chartreuse tail. I think these things would be a clear water, smallmouth killer. I think Lake Mead, Lake Mojave, Lake Havasu, Anywhere where there's smallmouth, I think these things would do some damage, especially in that clear water. Smallmouth like that chartreuse and the pearls and the translucent body in these baits, I think just lend themselves to clear water and smallmouth for sure. But that doesn't mean a good largemouth wouldn't take a bite out of one of these things either. Guys, the sky is the limit when it comes to making your own baits, whether it's lead baits or soft plastics like we made today. These swim baits turned out really, really cool. That laminate's real subtle, so I hope it really came through on camera to give you guys an idea of really what it was doing in the sunlight and everything. These things turned out, turned out awesome. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do it, and especially once I started getting into it, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to get those tails back into the mold. That part's the hardest part for sure, but make sure to put a little drop of worm oil in each side. So a total of 16 little drops, just so that way you have plenty of worm oil to slide those tails in and out of that mold a little bit easier. But this is definitely possible. Those are three different colors all with one mold. You just gotta pour that first color, cut those tails off, put them back in, and then pour that laminate with that dual injector. Make sure to check out the product list that's down in the description of today's video, and make sure to use my Do It Molds affiliate link for any of your Do It Molds products. It's the only way they know that I sent you there, so please use that affiliate link. I'd really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you like this kind of stuff, doing some more of these more technical, more wacky kind of colors, make sure to uh, let me know in the comment section. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. See ya.